Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we are here in Turku, Finland in front of the Turku castle, the uh, Turuninen and today what we have for you are the don'ts of visiting Finland because there's some things you should not do when you come here. There's a tons of stuff you should do, you know, like eating anything with mushrooms and, and having a good time and going to sauna and things like that. But there's some things you don't do when you're here and, and that's what we're going to focus on today. And the first don't I have for you for coming to Finland is don't be loud. Look, the Finns are a quiet people. They're a reserved people. It's also very quiet all the time so do remember that when you're going around especially if you've got kids like mine that are really rambunctious and they're enjoying all this outdoor weather and all kinds of tasty candies well certain kind of candies just just know don't be loud when you are here okay <laughs> now anyway the second don't I'll say to you is don't insult the Finnish pride look the Finns love their country and one of the things they love the most is the sauna and one way to insult a Finn is to call it a sauna no, it's a sauna, okay? So make sure you get sauna right, okay? Don't call it sauna. And when you go to the sauna, our third don't is don't be modest. Look, you are going to go in the buck on natural when you go to the sauna, okay? And there's some rules about it when you go there. One, if you're going to be the, the naked one, is usually it's, it's going to be a male only or female only sauna. That's when you do that. If you don't want to, it's okay. You can wear your towel and stuff like that. It is pretty normal when you do, they do that. But, you know, don't be modest. Don't go with your full bodysuit or your, your swim trunk. It's kind of like a faux pas when you are here, okay? Now our fourth don't for you is when you come here, don't get too scared by the language. Look, Finnish is impossible, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you, when I came to live here in the 90s when I was a high school student, they told us before, like to all the exchange students, look, everyone will learn the language everywhere they go except for two places, Japan and Finland. You all are screwed, okay? The language is pretty difficult and you might not be able to make out many of the things here, but that's okay. You don't have to worry about it because, well, Every, not everybody, but a lot of people speak English here very well, so you will be okay with that. But having said that, don't skip out on learning a few Finnish words before you come. Kitos is thank you. Huvapaeva is like good day. Another one, you know, might be helpful is like yes, it's kula. You know, so there are some words that can make things a little bit easier, like mina haluan, I want. And so that can help because, man, Finnish is tough. They don't have the prepositions. It's like at the end. So like Turku is the city I'm in. But if you're in the city, you say Turusa. If you're, if it's Turku's castle, it's Turun. Dude, it, it's so impossibly difficult. My mind is melting from 20 years ago thinking about this. So don't worry too much about it, okay? And you'll be like, why are there so many eyes? It's just the way it is, okay? <laughs> now my next don't for you is don't freak out when the signs change. This is something I've talked about in a few videos, but in Finland, it's actually Finnish and Swedish are both the official languages. So the signs will have both Finnish and English. And sometimes you'll hear one thing going, oh, you're going to Turku. But then you're like, oh, now we're arriving in Obu. You're like, what, Obu? What, what Obu? I thought we were going to Turku. It's the same city, okay? So don't freak out when that does happen. Also kind of going along with that, with the Swedes and the Scandinavian stuff and things like that. If you meet like, you know, Swedes and Norwegian and say, you're going to Finland to see more of Scandinavia don't call Finland Scandinavia to like Swedes and Norwegians because they get all well that's not on the Scandinavian Peninsula so they're not Scandinavian they're Nordic okay so just just a heads up for that one when you're talking to non Finns about it okay another thing you don't do when you're here is you don't compare Sweden and Finland in a way that makes Sweden seem like the winner and there's two reasons why I really want to focus on here why you don't do that and they both start with H one is history Finland was controlled by Sweden for a long time and you still have a lot of influences here but also hockey and they love their hockey here so don't say Swedish hockey is better than Finnish because it's not duh and if you're here in Turku go to a tipsy game I used to go to those all the time when I lived here always good hockey when you are here but yeah don't compare it to Sweden because no one's gonna enjoy that no you're not gonna get anything out of that one okay uh, unless you have some good Swedish jokes then you can make some friends now if you do make those friends and you do go to their house don't wear your shoes inside their house it's very rude to wear your shoes inside houses here in Finland so make sure you take those off when you come in people might give you slippers or, or, or house shoes or stuff like that or not but you just don't wear shoes in the house also when you go to their house don't forget to bring a small gift maybe some candies or some flowers we're going to my old host family tonight I'm gonna bring you know we got a bottle of wine and some chocolates just bring something when you come you know because it's just kind of a nice thing to do now going along with that candy theme um, there's another don't I have for you is don't eat the black salmiaki candy when you're here it's like ugh, it's like really salty black licorice candy oh it's they love it here it's all over the place but unless you're used to it it can be a bit powerful for some people so so don't get the salmiaki or, or get one and try it 
but but don't buy a bag, okay? I've made that mistake before, okay? Buy the under candy. There's so many, other, so much other candy here that's good, but the, the Samyaki, blah, just, just stay away from it, okay? But you could get a bag of it and give it to your friend as a gift when you go to their house. That would be nice, but yeah. Foreigners aren't really big on the Samyaki. <laughs> it's just, it's horrible. Horrible. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate when I am here because that's like questioning Finnish pride with the Salmiaki. And that's another thing I will say with the Finnish pride, you know, Salmiaki is one of those things, but also, you know, hockey, but also the relation with some of the countries around here, like Sweden and Russia and stuff. I know with uh, with my kids, we've had, you know, videos in Finland where my son's wearing his, his Zenith St. Petersburg soccer jersey. And they mentioned that. I'm like, he's six and you're, you're calling out his jersey because he was having fun in Finland with a Russian jersey. So you do have some of these little things there. So you do want to watch out for that. It's not a really a big deal but just kind of one of those little don'ts you might want to look into. Now, for my Saksalainen tourists and some of the other tourists who get upset when they don't get all their change back, you don't use the one or two cent coins here in Finland. You might have something that comes out to 98 cents. They're not going to give you your two cents back, okay? They round up the numbers and things like that, so there's no one or two, so don't get upset by that. Also, for certain Saksalainen tourists, um, I would say is don't steal the moose signs, okay? I remember there was a big thing when I used to live here, the, the tourists would come up here and they steal the moose signs. Don't do that, okay? It's not good, okay? So so try to avoid doing that. So some other tourist things you might want to know about in terms of the don'ts is you don't have to tip when you are here in Finland. The wage is pretty good so that you don't really tip. Um, another don't I have for you is don't disobey the law when you are here. The Finns are very much a rule-based society and they, you know, they, they wait for the traffic sign to go across. They wait in the lines for their kind of stuff. So they really are kind of a kind of by the rules kind of people. And by breaking the rules and breaking the law, I mean, obviously you shouldn't do that anyway, is not really appreciated here. So don't do that. Kind of stick with the norms of the people you see here. My last little don'ts for you, just from little things. Um, don't forget your bug spray if you're going to be going to the uh, into the lake district by Tampere and around there. I mean, there's lakes everywhere, but the bugs can be really bad in the summer. Also, don't skip out on the nature trips you can do here, whether you're going out to the islands or you're going into the lakes or just hiking and mushroom hunting, going around. Finns are really great outdoorsmen and stuff like that. So don't think you're just going to stay in Helsinki or Turku. Go out and explore. You'll really enjoy it. And also, don't forget like a, a jacket or something. Even in the summertime, we're here in June and we've gone from having jackets and jeans to shorts and t-shirts in the same day, okay? So just FYI for that. And I will say, don't skip coming to Finland. It is a fantastic place. Very few tourists come here, but they really should because you have this beautiful, beautiful country with lots of nature, saunas to go enjoy, people to meet, great English. It's not as expensive as people think it's going to be. I know when you think Scandinavia, or sorry, Nordic Europe, you're thinking, oh, it's going to be insanely expensive. Sometimes it can be, but here in Finland, I've actually been okay with the price when we've been here, especially when you get out of Helsinki, because you go to Tampere or Turku or Olu or something like that, Rovaniemi to go to the Arctic Circle. The prices aren't that bad. I mean, they're, it's a little bit higher, but it's nothing extravagantly crazy expensive. But don't let that keep you from coming here, because it is a fantastic place. I lived here for a year, and I loved it, and I know you'll love it too. So anyway, if you want to learn more about visiting Finland, we've got 10 things that will shock you about visiting Finland, what you need to know before you come to Finland, five things you love and hate about Finland, all kinds of stuff on our website and our YouTube channel channel at youtube.com slash Walters World and our, and our website WaltersWorld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, uh, pretty much every social media set we're on there and we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions. If you do click that subscription, we put out two travel videos, at least two travel videos every week, every Wednesday and Saturday. So we do hope you'll come and join us and I'll say moi moi from Turku, Finland. I love Finland. <laughs> yes, yeah, she does. So it's been great. Bye. Or, moi moi. <laughs>